Hello and welcome to the section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Uh, here we're going to learn how to convert coordinate systems and so we're going to start off by talking about how to convert between rectangular and polar coordinates. So if you remember a rectangular coordinate is just a fancy word that means x comma y. So this is what you've been dealing with in algebra uh, from day one, x comma y. This is the x coordinate on the coordinate plane and then the y coordinate up there. Polar coordinate is uh, also two numbers to represent the point you're talking about, but instead of x comma y, you deal with what we call r comma theta. So r is the distance from the origin uh, to your point, and uh, theta is the angle. So for instance, if we had a point over here, it would be x would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and y would be, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4 coming up like this. So the point would be 4, 4. That would be uh, what we call a rectangular, right? Because it's you go across a rectangular grid like this. But we can represent the same point in polar notation by noting the distance between this point and the origin. So this kind of slanted distance, instead of going over and up, we just look at the slanted distance to our point. But in order to place the point, we also have to know the angle between that, that, that radius r that we draw and the x-axis. So it's still two numbers, but instead of x comma y, it's r, which is sort of the radius or the length from the origin to the point, and then the angle theta. So in your algebra classes, in your, in your pre-cal classes, you learn how to convert those coordinates by hand. It involves a little bit of trigonometry, uh, but the calculator can handle all of that for you. So let's go ahead and go back out uh, here and let's go back to the command line so that we can sort of start fresh. Now the thing to realize is the way that you put coordinates and kind of input coordinates into this calculator is by these brackets here. So when you open a bracket and put some numbers inside, these blue brackets here, uh, basically what you are doing is telling the computer uh, to, to treat those guys as coordinates. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and put a blue bracket up there. And inside here, let's, let's pick the point 3, 4. So you, you put it in exactly as you would think, 3, 4. And then you close those brackets off. All right, so this is what a point, and it's sort of like x, y looks like. Now in algebra, normally you put parentheses around here, uh, but the calculator reserves the parentheses uh, right here for, for use in terms of algebraic expression. So just got to get in the habit of thinking about wrapping these coordinates in brackets. So if you just hit enter right now, all it's going to do is take that input and spit it back out at you because you've actually you've not told it to do anything with that. So it just sort of takes it and puts it back out there. Now, when you input the number, you have to put a comma. But when the calculator takes it and operates on it, it does not put a comma back in, in, the, in the sort of like what it re 